Hi, last October, my friend and I went down to Florida on an alligator hunt and we shot a nice big alligator. And this is actually part of that alligator right here. Now, uh, a friend of mine, his name's Dixie Dave Miner, he's a wild game chef. He told us this recipe, so I didn't come up with it on my own, but uh, we found it to be the best one so far, at least that I know of. A lot of people like to fry alligator, but it gets tough sometimes, and I don't like it tough. So this way here is real tender, you don't have any problems with that, and it tastes really, really good. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is we have right here about two and a half pounds of alligator, and it was processed and put to the uh, cuber, I guess they call it, a couple times. So it's pretty decent. Um, it's been washed already, thawed out, and all we do is we lay it out on the saran wrap right here. We cover it. The saran wrap, this basically keeps it from making a really, really big mess. Then you take the smooth side of your, uh, I guess it's called the tenderizing mallet, and then you're basically gonna beat the dickens out of it. And you see how they're pretty thick right now. Right now they're about three quarters of an inch, sometimes even a little bigger, smaller, whatever. Um, and you're going to beat them down to about an eighth of an inch to maybe a quarter of an inch at the most. The start here, you're just going to beat them like so. Down about like that. Just continue. Move this over there a little bit. That one's going to try to come out. You're just going to beat them all. Some beat a little harder than others. This is actually a two-day process. We're just going to do these tonight, and then, as you can see, these are beat down pretty thin. I don't know how well that shows up. You take them like this, and what we did ahead of time is you take, well, for about 200, uh, 200, 200, two and a half pounds of alligator meat, you're going to use about six eggs. You take the eggs. You beat them up really good so it's a liquid. And then we're just going to take these pieces after we beat the dickens out of them. And then we're going to put them in the egg. What we're going to do now is these are going to actually soak in the egg. We're going to finish these up here really quick tonight. We're all going to, we're going to mix them in the egg and then we're going to cover it with saran wrap and put them in the refrigerator. And then we'll be done for a night. Leave them in there till tomorrow, and then we'll continue this um, and show you the rest, the other steps to uh, finish the alligator. Okay, so our alligator sat overnight in the beaten eggs, and so now we took them out and we drained the majority of the egg off of our alligator meat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our regular flour we have right here. We're going to take a half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper and mix it in with the flour real quick. Like that. And then we're gonna take our alligator meat. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna dredge it through the flour, one piece at a time. You see, remember how we beat that all up pretty good? And then we're gonna lay it in here and just gonna brown it. Now that pan is hot and it has uh, spray olive oil on the bottom. You don't want too much oil or else your alligator meat will be really greasy and you don't want that. So we're just going to do this, get a little on there, lay them in there like so, and make a mess. Alligator meat's not like venison, it's not like solid. Just get, after it's been beaten, you just get really, uh, Almost like mushy pieces, but it's a little hard to grab it. Mm. 
I'm going to do it for right now. Set these over here. I always rip the hands off, so. And we're just going to let that brown. Just takes a minute or so. And between each time we fill the pan, we'll have to spray some more on it so it doesn't burn. It just sucks up that olive oil pretty quickly. Okay, now we're just going to take them out of here and sit them in this casserole pan or dish, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to do this over and over again until all the alligator meat has been browned. And when we get that done, we'll show you how to mix everything else up. Okay, now that all the alligator has been browned, it's over here in this pan. We're gonna make a sauce that goes on top of it. So what we have in the pan here right now is one regular cooking onion, and we're sauteing it in um, just a couple tablespoons of butter until the onions basically lose that white color and they start looking more clear. And we actually, we're getting pretty close right now. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add oh, four ounces of white wine. You see right here, what we're using, just cheap white wine. I'm just gonna pour it right into the onions and you're gonna let that reduce about halfway, okay? And that's gonna get rid of, that's gonna get rid of all the alcohol out of the wine and so you're just having the flavor of it and not the alcohol, which is important. You don't want any alcohol actually in your food when you're cooking. Then, well, that's reducing down about halfway. You're gonna get about two, two and a half tablespoons, if I can find the right, there you go, of lemon juice. I'm gonna try to do this without getting it all over everywhere like I did the flour. There we go. But we're gonna hold off on that until this is reduced more. So when this gets down about halfway, we're gonna add the lemon juice. We're gonna use half a teaspoon of minced garlic, two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of parsley, and two jars of chicken gravy and these are 12 ounce jars each and remember this is for about two and a half pounds of alligator which is enough for four regular people or almost enough for me so <laughs> and that's looking right now like it's getting about there doesn't take that long okay so i'll put the lemon juice in and this is all going to go in together garlic, our butter, and parsley,
and last but not least, our chicken gravy. Dump it all in there. And then just stir it all together. Butter still trying to melt. And we'll leave it on here for just a minute or two. Now the oven right now we have preheating to 350 and we're going to pour the gravy or the sauce over the top of the gator meat and put it in the oven. It's going to be in there for about 20, 20 to 30 minutes, 20-25 minutes. And this is looking like it's about there so I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to try not to burn my hand. Pour this right on top of the alligator meat. And try to spread it around. Get it a little bit even. Like that. It'll self-level in the oven. And then we'll go ahead and put it right in the oven. There. And then impatiently wait for about 20-25 minutes. Okay. We actually cooked it for about 40, 45 minutes because we had over two pounds of alligator here. But we want to make sure it was done all the way so you can actually look at it here and see what it looks like. This is the best alligator in the world. Okay, um, I'll show you right here. I'll take a piece out. I'm not going to eat it in front of you because you don't have any, and I do, and that would be rude. I'll wait till I'm off the camera, and then I'll eat it all myself. But you can see this right here. That's alligator. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna show you, this did not come from the local meat supply or anything like that. This is a picture, I don't know if the camera will work or not, of this exact alligator right there. Can you see it? Cool, all right, that's me. I shot that alligator down in Florida in October, and, uh, and this is it. So, hope you paid attention and you tried this this is the absolute best way to cook alligator i love it and i'm going to eat the whole pan if i can tonight because it's about 9 30 in the evening i had to work all day on overtime and so i haven't eaten yet so i'm going to dig in